Happy weekend, everybody. I hope you have had a good week at school and are having a wonderful Saturday. Are you ready for another storybook? I thought so. Okay, so this one is about a bear. And I think you guys have heard a story about this bear before. His name is Corduroy. And the title of the book is Corduroy Writes a Letter. Corduroy Writes a Letter. Lisa took a big bite out of her cookie. Something's different. I know what it is. It doesn't have enough sprinkles. Why don't you write a letter to the bakery? said her mother. Good idea, said Lisa. She got out a pen and a pad of paper. She stared at the pad. The clock went tick, 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 tick. After a while, she said, What's the use, Corduroy? The baker will not listen to me. I'm just a little girl. She put down her pen and left. Maybe I can write a letter, thought Corduroy. Dear Mr. Baker, we love your cookies. We buy them every week. Today, there were fewer sprinkles. We thought you should know. From Corduroy. Corduroy put the letter in the mailbox. The next week, Lisa and Corduroy picked up the cookies. Look, Corduroy, said Lisa. The cookies have more sprinkles. That's right, said the baker. Someone sent me a letter. That night, Lisa and her mother went to the movies. Corduroy went too. Hey, look at the sign, said Lisa. The lights are out on two of the letters. Why don't you write the owner a letter, said her mother. Maybe I will, said Lisa. Later, Lisa got a pen and a pad of paper. What should I write, Corduroy? asked Lisa. Soon she began to feel sleepy. It's no use, said Lisa. The movie theater owner is too important. He will not read a letter from me. She went to bed, but Corduroy was not ready for bed. I can write a letter, he thought. What a nice bear. He's writing a letter. Looks like Lisa's fast asleep. A few days later, Lisa and her mother walked past the movie theater. Lisa looked at the sign. It's all fixed, she said. Now it says theater. It is fixed, said a man sweeping. Someone wrote me a letter. It said two of my lights were out. That's neat, said Lisa. The next time I have something to say, I'm going to write a letter. Every day, Lisa listened to music on the radio. Corduroy listened too. I love this new radio station, said Lisa. But I wish they would play the song Teddy Bear Bob. I should write to the station and ask them to play it, said Lisa. Great idea, thought Corduroy. Lisa got her pen and pad. She wrote, Dear Rock, I listen to your station every day. I wish you would play Teddy Bear Bop. I love that song. My bear Corduroy loves it too. Thanks for being the best station ever. Yours truly, Lisa. Lisa put the letter in the mailbox. The next week, Lisa had the radio on. The person on the radio said, this next song is for Corduroy from Lisa. Then, Teddy Bear Bob began to play. Lisa and Corduroy danced around the room. Wow, said Lisa. They're playing our song. See, thought Corduroy, it pays to write letters. Have you guys ever written a letter to maybe your grandparent or a cousin who lives far away? Why don't you try and write a letter? Ask your parent to help you. It can be really fun when you mail it and then you get a response back with your name on it. Before cell phones were invented, people used to communicate by letters. They would write letters to family members. Have a fun weekend, everyone. Go outside and play if the weather is nice. You are important. 
you are smart and you are loved. Have a good weekend, everybody, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.